Hey everybody, I wanted to do a video just with another kind of update um, what my plan is moving forward right now. Next week on Wednesday, my second semester of nursing school starts and on Thursday I'm having major surgery done. So <laughs> the timing of that is not ideal, obviously, but um, it's just kind of what's necessary. Um, with this second surgery, the rest of like my diseased part of my body will be removed and um, the part that's left right now that they'll be taking out has a really high risk of cancer and so once that's gone, um, that risk of cancer is going to be completely gone and hopefully a lot of the other complications that are still lingering will be gone. So it's it's necessary it's important but it's very scary um after the last time i'm nervous to be back in the hospital um hopefully it will only be for two or three days that's what my surgeon said so i'm hoping if i'm home by like sunday that would be awesome of next week um but yeah then i'll be in school i'll, I'll have my my classes and labs and clinicals and i guess timing worked out with everything that um, because of COVID, my classes are going to be online, but my clinicals and labs obviously aren't online. And so that's going to be a little bit tricky and a little bit hard to figure out as I'm recovering. But we made it through last semester, so we can make it through this one. Hopefully my second and third semesters, I don't have any hospital stays. That's what I'm really hoping for. Um, but recovery, it's going to be... Um, for six weeks I can't sit down and so that's what's gonna be the most tricky part with it but anyway I'm gonna um, hopefully do some videos as I'm recovering let you guys know how the surgery goes and how the recovery is going but anyway I just wanted to give a little bit of an update and just kind of say you know I've had I've had a bit of a hard day today just kind of mourning what life what you expect life to be like and what life sometimes turns out to be. Um, I've been talking to some people today saying, you know, I didn't expect nursing school to be like this with me being so sick, with me, you know, in the last year I'll have been in the hospital six times. That's not at all what I was expecting. And I wasn't expecting, obviously, a, this pandemic to be going on, for school to be changed to online for right now. I was not expecting that. I wasn't expecting at the age of 23 to have all these health problems that I've had. Um, it's just not been what I expected. But, you know, there are a lot of, of good things that have come from the unexpected. I think it's been humbling. I've been able to learn a lot and hopefully it will help me to be a better nurse in the future because I've learned so much about what it's like to be on the other side of it. Um, but you know I just want to kind of share a message that like first of all it's okay to have hard days you know there's there's such a stigma and just like this belief I feel like that we all have that we have to always be strong we have to always be positive and um, you know looking at the good and that's a good outlook to have it's good to try to be positive but life can be really hard and it's okay to have a day that you say, you know, life is really hard right now. I'm doing my best, but it's okay to have days where you cry and where you mourn what you thought you were going to have. It's okay to feel that. Um, and then, you know, learn from it and keep moving forward and try to look for the positives that are coming from uh, the unexpected that life is bringing you. Um, but, you know, I, I hope that people don't think that I am just super positive and, and happy all the time because, you know, I'm trying to, to stay positive with everything that's happened and um, to look on the bright side, but that doesn't mean that I don't have times where I feel sad and, and kind of mourn the body that I thought I would have had um, that functioned normally or, you know, different things. It's okay to, to miss how you thought things were going to turn out. Um, but don't stay there and to to pick yourself up and to keep moving forward and I'm very blessed to have amazing people in my life uh, family and friends who are there to encourage and support me um, and I hope that I can be that person for you if you're having a hard day if you need some love please let me know and I'm happy to talk with you 
but I love you all and I'll keep you updated with my surgery and how everything goes and I will talk to you soon.